Hi there, Ray Rodolfi here in my Living Longer Younger clinic. Today I wanted to look at the idea of feelings and emotions. Are they the same thing? People won't remember you by the things you've said or the things you've done, but they'll remember you by how you've made them feel. So how do you feel when you interact with other people? There's some times you're going to interact with others and you come away from that interaction feeling good. Feeling good somehow maybe inspired, feeling more peaceful, feeling happier. And sometimes you come away from an interaction feeling angry, feeling resentful, feeling annoyed or feeling fearful. So it's the feelings which really affect our physiological body that make a big difference in how we remember people. The emotions are part of our, if you like, the unconscious body that just erupt. So something happens to you and you become angry all of a sudden. Now, if that same thing happened to the person next to you and they react in a completely different way because the emotions that are involved, love, fear, anger, sorrow, joy, it's your relationship to all those are emotions and your historical and experiential relationship to those emotions is how you're going to feel in a different situation. So, if you're walking along in a uh, darkened alley and someone steps out in front of you, you may get the emotion of fear and then your body reacts. And the feeling that happens in your body is one of tension, heart rate, pumping, sweaty palms, tensing up, getting into that fight or flight mode. And then that person steps out into a clearer light um, and they're you know, very welcoming, happy looking, friendly, non-invasive, non-aggressive person and you relax and that emotion of fear will dissipate and the feeling of all that tension, that fight or flight, will dissipate as well. So we go through this every day. Now unfortunately we also get the idea of thinking mixed up with feelings. You know, I'm thinking about something and it makes me feel in a particular way. Or is it I'm feeling something and therefore I think in a particular way. So I might think that I want to achieve a particular goal. I might think I want to uh, go out and get a new car. But it's not really until I perhaps go and take some pictures of that car or start seeing them in the street, um, look at it and get in feeling involved in that, that I can feel myself driving in that car. I can feel myself sitting and I can feel the smell of it, all the different perceptions of feeling that car and then I can achieve that. Just thinking about it won't get me very far. The thought might start the feeling or the feeling might start the thought. So um, someone says something to you that once again they say, wow, you're looking really great today. I like that coat you're wearing. And you feel defensive for whatever reason. And you say, oh, it's just some old thing, you know, oh, yeah put some makeup on, I wash my hair, I did something. Why do we go into these defensive modes? Because perhaps way in the background, there's something that was there in your childhood or otherwise, where you weren't told, hey, you look great. And you didn't just come to accept that, yeah, people complimentary, and that's good. So it's the acceptance of compliments which bring up a feeling of awkwardness, of embarrassment, of, oh, don't look at me. So unfortunately, some of our feelings are trained. Whereas the next person, say the same compliment to them and they go, yeah, great, this is something I just bought recently. Yeah, I thought I looked really good in it. And you do. So emotions, we can train ourselves to feel different about our emotions, particularly when there's a trigger. We say that person makes me very frightened. That person makes me very angry. That person makes me very joyful. That person makes me feel sad. <clears throat> that person makes me feel love. So all of those things, we've really got to relate back to the Buddhist philosophy of it's not the external that is doing anything to your internal, it's your internal reflection. So when I see someone who makes me angry, when I see someone who makes me joyful, when I see someone who makes me fearful, when I see someone who makes me feel sad, when I feel someone that makes me feel love, it's actually me. I feel love. When I see you, I feel love. When I see you, I feel angry. When I see you, 
I feel sorrow. I make myself fearful of you. And therefore, I can control that emotion. I can change the feeling around it. It might flick up and I feel angry. My body tenses up. My jaw tightens. I get a furrow in the brow there. And I feel oh, like so. And that's the feeling. And I can reverse that. I can click my fingers and say, no, I don't feel that. I'm going to let that go. Breathe. So relax. If you like, reverse engineer what's happened in your body and relax yourself. Breathe deep rather than the shallow breathing. Let it go. And one of the best ways to change all that as, as well is I find with some meditation. If you've got someone in your life that really makes you feel angry, just a little bit of a quiet moment for yourself. Think about someone who, who makes you feel joy, makes you feel love. It makes you know, really feel that in, in your heart. And sit quietly and sit, <clears throat> meditate. So that you're sitting by yourself, but you have a group of people in your mind that you're meditating with. You know, maybe it's the pet that really brings out the playfulness in you. Maybe it's your partner who brings out that love and cherishing. Maybe it's a child that makes you feel really good and you want to help them to support them. People, beings, situations. Parent, maybe it's a parent who feel, you know, very so supportive. They're always there for you. And then plonk in that person who makes you feel so angry or makes you feel so sad or makes you feel so fearful. And as you're feeling love for all these other people, well then extend that to that person. Embrace them with love. So not with the anger, not with the fear, not with the sorrow. Embrace them with the love that you're feeling from these other people. And just try that meditation. It's called Healing Heart Meditation. And then you'll find that gradually the way you react to that person starts to diminish. Because once again, you're just taking control. And that's all we want is control in our lives so that we can decide how we want to feel. Now, wouldn't you rather feel happy, joyful most of the time? Of course, external force is going to be combating that for us, but come back to yourself. See how you feel and recognize that the emotions will come up, start to affect you as you feel their physical responses. So look, I hope that helps. Experiment with that. Don't think about it too much. Enjoy your feelings, enjoy the emotions, but remember, you're in charge of them. Okay.